breast milk is important to every baby, uh, whether you're a term baby or a preterm baby. But over the last few years, there's been a lot of research that shows that breast milk for preterm babies is better uh, than formula uh, for those children who can get breast milk. Uh, we're starting to see that there are some uh, immunologic or things that help you fight infection related to breast milk. Um, there's some things with better growth uh, for these babies. And then also, we're starting to see that some breast milk may actually be protective for babies against some of the more common issues of prematurity. Well, babies that don't get breast milk, we're very fortunate in the United States and most industrialized countries to have very, very good premature formulas that are made by the uh, commercial companies. Uh, they spend a lot of time, a lot of research, um, good science. And so babies who can't get breast milk, um, you know, I don't want people to think that, oh, I can't have breast milk, my baby's not going to live. That absolutely is not true. It's just like with anything else, the more natural something is, it's probably what's better for you in the long term. Breast milk for in the preterm babies, we are starting to see that it may have a protective effect against something called necrotizing enterocolitis. And that is an infection in the intestine, which 75% um, of the time with resting the intestine, and by that we don't feed you, we provide you nutrients through an IV, it will heal on itself. But in 25% of the time, those babies actually require surgery. Uh, it is a disease that can kill small babies or it's, it can result in these babies having a very abnormal intestine, uh, some kids requiring a intestinal transplant, which is very experimental. Um, it brings great costs and great morbidity, or we use the term long-term illness to these children. Specific research that's been done to date suggests that in terms of necrotizing enterocolitis, a baby who doesn't go to surgery, the savings can be anywhere from thirty to $150,000 per baby. So if you take that, there's about 400,000 preterm babies a year, and not all of them are at risk for necrotizing or colitis, these are the really small babies. Um, it's significant, the savings are very significant.